all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back to back updates and information as the hot in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you go be the first we'll collect them mbamba Eh, uh, as it be for the Obodo for Niger, the matter will be say a consign Mazin Nam the Kano or Hamadike one of the Bo as it be. Um, from the way we they see look of things, uh, it be like say the recent president, current president of NIG in the Obodo, Omano Mano, has entered into Wahala. Uh, because looking at Mazi. Uh, Nam the Kano's citation uh, during during his last court appearance, um, everybody was marveled. Even the barristers, uh, the 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 legal counsel, sons, judges who were by Mazin Nam the Kano's side, uh, we are surprised for him to have cited uh, those parts of the constitution that he is not supposed to be tried in Nigeria and that is another fallen inside of pepe soup uh, for the NIG president Ogabola Ahmed Tinubu because uh, that matter now is getting out of hand because for Mazi Nam the Kano to have cited uh, that particular law it shows that hmm, something is is really 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 getting out of hand as it be and um, um everybody's wondering what is going to be the aftermath what is going to be the uh, aftermath of this uh, particular case and by the look of things <laughs> my brother will tell you that uh, the the nig government is in hot pepper soup the nig government is in hot pepper soup because uh, from what I am seeing, you find out that the energy government is in big hot pepper soup. The pepper soup they are in is not just a pepper soup, but a hot one. Because when Kano cited that particular part of the constitution, if you watch that video, if you watch that video, if you have not watched the video, go down to, scroll down to my uh, eight days or maybe past five days broadcast or past three days broadcast you will see that video there uh, where Kano was talking about where was quoting the constitution he cited the constitution and said that the nig government does not have the right to try him and when he said that the constitution there was something he said he said that the nig government are bona fide members of this particular constitution they signed the constitution that they cannot go back and fold their hand in the constitution because they are bona fide signatory to that particular constitution which they signed that is to say that him Mazen Nandekano is not supposed to be tried in Nigeria in Nigeria court <laughs> um there is something I want to say before I continue anything you are doing in this life my brother my sister try to become experts in that thing whatever you are doing um you can be a mechanical you can be a vulcanizer you can be a welder you can be a lawyer you can be a, a politician is not even a, a is not a, an occupation because you can be anything. You can be an architect. But the main thing is that whatever you find yourself doing, make sure that you are the best in that thing. You know, when MNK appeared the last time in court, I looked at him. He was looking very fresh. He, he was not looking like someone that is in, in prison. At least he's looking fresh. He's not looking that, like someone that is in custody. And he still came out with his Fendi. With his Fendi. Now, if MNK is not educated enough, if he's not well read, how will he be able to defend himself? Did you see that 
MNK Stewart have covered everything that the lawyers, you know, were trying to find out in the past four years uh, or in the, the past two years of this particular case. Past three years now, MNK in one day quoted everything. Honor, <laughs> it is good that whatever you are doing, try and become best in that uh, particular thing. Meanwhile, let's go to another information as uh, it the hot. Uh, police don't uncover plans to unleash mayhem in Kanu. Um, there has been a lot of uh, katakata recently in Kanu state due to the issue of Emia. And um, it looks as if this Emia and monarchia traditional stuff of a thin, Igwe of a thin, the politicians has put hand into it. Yes. The politicians have decided to take over people's tradition in Africa in order to be able to control the people. Because the, the, the present government may want to install their own emir, someone who favors them. The past government also installed, removed the past emir and installed someone who favors them. Because they want to have an upper hand of politics in that particular locality. That is what is happening. It happened in Imo State 2008 then, during the time of um, Rocha Sokorocha, where the, the, the government allowed a particular number of people to form, the, to form an autonomous community of their own. And that was what, what affected Imo State. The, that particular system of, of, of traditional ruling or government at the locality destroyed a lot of things. Because Ndibo, Ndibo, Ndibo has their tradition. Ndibo has their sacredness. Likewise, every other tribe. And when you desecret this particular sacredness, what uphold the people, what the people are known for? You destroy the people, you destroy the ground. You destroy the foundation, the structure that the ancestors have laid, of which you know, that this particular structure tradition has gathered the people for a number of years, for a long time, for a number of years. It has gathered the people for a number of years. And now you see politicians coming just all of a sudden to destroy whatever that has been built. Let's go down to what is particularly happening now in Kano State. I think that this particular scenario is only prevalent in Alibo. But looking at what is happening in Kanu, you will find out that politics has come again. Amid the emirship tussle in Kanu state, the police have uncovered plans to unleash mayhem in Northwest state. The police commissioner of the state, Husani Gumel, stated this in a press briefing at the government house late on Saturday. According to him, the police and other security agencies have mobilized to take down anyone trying to cause terror in the state. We have uncovered criminal intelligence by some group of people who are considered as enemies of the state. Miscrants who are trying to unleash terror in the state by embarking on targeted attacks on locations, particularly the House of Assembly, as well as some privileged locations within the state capital, he said. The police commissioner said the plot has been verified by so many sources. Anybody who wants to test the ground, security has the capacity to deal with the miscreant. We have perfected plans to embark on serious patrol and detection on locations where we are informed by the miscreants are hiding. He added, we are going to embark on a house to have such. Anybody who feels he is stronger than the law should try it. Can we remain safe and nobody can override the decision? The issue of chieftaincy affairs have been perfected by the executive arm of government. We are standing by the law and we are strictly going to enforce the existing law, he added. Governor Abakari Abakabi had on Thursday dethroned Aminu Ado Bayero and replaced him with Muhammadu Sanusi II, a development that has been met with protest. Uh, my people, when I don't see, I see they happen. Uh, now, the governor of Kano State, now in the throne, the, 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 the current emir, 
and install the former emir who was also dethroned by the past government and you can see that this is politics at its peak <laughs> politics at its zenith um when politicians tries to play politics with traditional traditions and customs of the people uh, you will find out that these some of these things have usually have a bad repercussion in the community and among the people i think that politicians should try their best to separate politics with the people's tradition yes because if the people's tradition are separated from politics you will find out that the people will have a voice the the governor is there the this the the emir that he wants to install is his person now when he installs this emir you will find out that the people will not have a mouth of their own the people will not have someone who can speak for them because the emir is governor's friend whatever the governor does is good i think um uh, politicians should uh, uh, leave all these fundamental things elementary matters and focus on building the nation africa is falling nigeria itself is falling the northern part the southern part the eastern part the western part is falling the economy is nothing to write home about. The economy is is has dwindled. It has gone down. And the government has decided not to look into some of these things. What they are looking into is installing and removing of EMIA uh, and also ways of making sure that they oppress the people more and more. Meanwhile, this is where I'll be winding down the curtain. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, you kindly go on. And subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you could be the first we'll collect them thank you for listening god bless you